So this is one of Canon's best cameras up to date. Well, not the best, but the best affordable consumer version for you. So should you be getting this, I'm going to be talking about a few negatives about this because no one else addressed the elephant in this room. Why this camera actually does suck. There's a few things about this that I totally dislike and yet I'm deciding to keep this camera regardless. So let's get into this. Number one, it is huge in terms of additional cost. Once you get this, you have to get additional lenses and accessories. But fear not, you can always get the adapter for it. And the adapter only cost less than, well, 99 bucks that you can get the adapter and you can fit all the existing lenses you have right into it. The problem is if you want the RF lenses, they are very expensive. They cost all much, as much as the older Canon lenses as well. And most of them are almost the same identical size too. Which, in my opinion, unless you're getting the 24 to 70, or you're getting the 70 to 200 F4, it's probably not worth it for you to get brand new lenses just for this camera. Next thing that's super annoying about this camera is the lack of instructions that comes with it. Unfortunately, there's only a few pages that are useful. Most of it, of this thick book, is in another language, which makes it totally impractical for you. The next thing that nobody actually talked about is the AVF here, which is probably the worst part of this camera overall, might be a deal breaker for you. So, unless you really like to use, like for me for example, I have not been using the AVF in quite some time. This is just an additional bonus for me. But paying the extra money, giving me the AVF over here, with the M cameras I didn't even have an AVF. The problem with this is pretty simple, it's electronic. AVF. It is not manual and it's not an AVF that you can look in here and you can see exactly what you're looking for. They're using everything is totally electronic. Why is this a problem? Because when you look at this not only makes you dizzy, the resolution is not as great. In fact as you're moving it around you can see like really bad uh, it doesn't look good. It's not even justifiable. Even with, within Canon standards, I wasn't expecting this. Now, maybe the R7 got much better AVF system than the R10. I could totally understand $500 extra might make the difference. But since most of the time I'm just going to be using this right here, it's not really much of a deal for me. Talking about this, take a look at this. This is another issue with this camera. Not a big one as well, but you can see that you have to move the lenses. Otherwise, then that right here, it's not on. Just because you turn it on doesn't mean it's on. It means that you have to take this lens, keep moving it a little harder until you hear the snap sound. When you hear the snap sound, now you can use the camera. This is for the RF lenses, not all of them, but that specific lens, 18 to 45 that came with this camera, has this really annoying feature in it, which I don't really like. Next thing, what I don't like about this camera, is pretty much right here, in the battery compartment. So first off, look how cheap it is made. Two, this battery that it comes with, which is the good part. This is the same battery that my M camera used as well. When it gets in here, it doesn't fit the right way. It doesn't fit straight on. It fits a little bit to the side, just a little bit. Just enough to annoy you, that is. And I will show you right now. So get in here, you can see right here, you see, that's straight on. That's a straight right here. You can see it's vertical over here, a little bit. When you put this on, what, what it does, because it's vertical and you're not used to that, 
you're not putting it straight in. It makes it a little difficult to put this in because it's just a wild, weird little angle that it goes in here. And now I put it the wrong way in. See, the only reason I put it the wrong way in is because it's weird, just the angle. Talking about weird, even worse is this right here. The SD card slot in here. So what they did is this. When you're putting this on, it has to face like that. Otherwise, it's not going to get in. Now, you might right away think, well, what is the big deal with that? The big deal is most Canon cameras, if not all of them, it goes in this way. What it does, it makes it weird for you because you're trying to put it the way it's not supposed to get in. Not sure why Canon did this, but this is just super annoying feature of this camera. But that is it. This is pretty much one of the biggest issues I have with it. Other than that, it's pretty good. Our ergonomics and everything else combined as well. Check out for more videos where I'm going to be talking about this camera. Thank you.